This is your girl, Jewel Taker from the Jewel Taker Show on Impact Network every single Saturday. Or you can check me out, The Tankards, on Prime Amazon with my family and I. Or check out me and my sisters on Chatter Talk Show on Fox. So me and Dr. Dee Dee Freeman, Real Talk Kim, Monique Islet Mosley, and Holly Carter. And you're listening to Rudy Radio. The views and opinions expressed during this program are entirely those of the show's hosts and do not necessarily reflect those of Rude Rangers Entertainment, its investors, management, advertisers, or staff. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Acupuncture's My Life. Now, in today's episode, I'd like to discuss the functions of of the kidneys from an acupuncturist perspective okay but before discussing these functions I need you to momentarily attempt to block your understanding of the Western concept of the internal organs completely ready great Now you see, an acupuncturist understands how important the kidneys are relative to one living a long, healthy life. Now an acupuncturist also understands that the kidneys can be seen as the root of life. Why? Because your kidneys are responsible for storing essence that was derived from your parents, which was established at conception. You see, a person's essence is responsible for their overall constitution. Now, I'm going to get into, I'm going to delve deeper into the importance of your parent's essence and what represents prenatal chi in an individual a little later when I get into patterns. All right. But what's amazing about the kidneys is that it has both a yin as well as a yang aspect, which means the kidneys serve as the foundation of all yin and all yang organs in the body. With the kidneys serving as the foundation of all yin organs means it serves as the basis for yin energies of the liver, heart and lungs. Now, with regard to the kidneys serving as the foundation of all yang organs means it serves as the basis for all yang energies of the spleen, lungs, and heart. This is very, very powerful. You see, to an acupuncturist, the kidneys are responsible for storing essence, governing birth, reproduction, as well as development. The kidneys are also responsible for producing marrow, nourishing the brain, as well as controlling the bones. Now, I speak in detail about the functions of the kidneys on the Acupuncture's My Life YouTube channel. So, if you really want to learn more as to how The kidneys are responsible for producing marrow and nourishing the brain as well as controlling the bones. Go to the Acupuncture's My Life YouTube channel and check out the episode on the functions of the kidneys. Now, the kidneys are responsible for governing water and controlling the reception of chi. And here's a surprise for you. The kidneys open into the ears as well as they manifest in a person's hair on the top of their head. Now with regard to storing essence and governing birth, growth, reproduction, and development, the kidneys also store essence as received from your parents at conception, as well as essence which is extracted from food by the stomach and spleen which determines as well as sustains 
your overall constitution. Now, this essence in which I speak of circulates all throughout a person's body to determine their growth, their ability to reproduce, their overall development, sexual maturation, conception, pregnancy, menopause, as well as how a person ages. So you see, if you want to maintain good health, I recommend you see your local acupuncturist and look to partake in regular wellness visits with your acupuncturist. And that doesn't mean you're, you're going to your acupuncturist every week. It doesn't mean every other week or every month. It may even be every six weeks. Seeing an acupuncturist on a regular basis, along with your annual or semi-annual visits to your physician, amazing. Having the burden of health on your shoulders disappears quickly. But, speaking of acupuncture, strengthening a person's kidneys, super important. Not only for the patient, that being you, but your acupuncturist understands this because kidney essence is also responsible for the changes in a person's life, such as, like, say, birth, puberty, menopause, and even death, which can be considered synonymous with what a physician would call hormonal changes. Now, when I speak of the kidneys producing marrow, nourishing the brain, as well as controlling your bones, when it comes to marrow, don't look at it in terms in a Western medicine sense. That's why I asked you guys to, you know, momentarily attempt to block your understanding of the Western concept of the internal organs, because the functions of different internal organs, as interpreted by an acupuncturist, is different from a physician. And there's reason for that, because a lot of the way in which we determine illness and health is based on yin and yang being in balance. You see, to an acupuncturist, marrow is seen as matrix of your bones, bone marrow, brain, as well as your spinal cord. So when it comes to governing water, the kidneys are responsible for the transformation as well as transportation of body fluids. And when it comes to controlling the reception of chi, now this is super important. You see the lungs in this case are responsible for sending chi derived from the clean air in which you inhale down to your kidneys, which are responsible for holding this chi there, okay? Now, whenever the kidneys cannot perform this function, an individual would begin to present with what would be similar to asthma in Western medicine. All right. Now the kidneys also open into the ears, which are nourished by kidney essence, whereby when this essence is deficient or the kidneys are weak for some reason, a patient may begin to experience tinnitus. And that's that annoying sound or ringing in your ear that's persistent. Acupuncture is great for treating tinnitus. And one of the meridians an acupuncturist may focus on is the kidney meridian. And they would look to nourish essence, okay? Now, when it comes to manifesting in the hair on the top of your head, when the kidneys are in a healthy state, your hair grows properly and it's, you know, you'll have a full head of hair. But now when essence is weak, your hair will begin to thin out and even actually fall out. And there are women that come, as well as men, that come to the Acupuncture Is My Life clinic in New York City because their hair is thinning, their hair is falling out, 
And some tend to find out that acupuncture can actually treat that. And more times than not, when an acupuncturist is assessing the patient in consultation with the patient, they know what to look for, but then more times than not, they notice that you know the, there's weakness in the kidneys. Is a deficiency because to an acupuncturist, the kidneys they can never be excess in the kidneys. They can never be excess patterns. Only deficiencies. The only time that there's excess patterns with the kidneys is when there's chronic conditions present, and I'll get into that. Because you have to, I want you guys to remember the main function of the kidneys is that of storing essence and governing birth, growth, and reproduction. Now, if you've listened to earlier episodes of Acupuncture's My Life on this station, you would know when I spoke of the spleen and stomach. That's where your essence, post heaven essence, is derived from. All right, and the kidneys store this essence that's created by the spleen and stomach from the foods in which you, and drinks in which you ingest, and it plays a part in governing the growth and reproduction process. It's your pre-heaven essence that plays a big part in the birthing process, all right? But with time, I want everyone to be patient because this is all gonna come together again, as I said in past episodes. Once I begin speaking of diseases, today's diseases and disorders that many individuals face. And if you're unclear on anything pertaining to the internal organs, just visit the Acupuncturist of My Life YouTube channel. Because there we discuss various disorders and how it's diagnosed by an acupuncturist, what internal organ or meridian is deficient, and what an acupuncturist does to reestablish balance between yin and yang so that a person's constitution is able to heal itself. Because that's the overall objective. The human body, the human organism is an amazing machine. And it should be naturally empowered to heal itself. And that's what acupuncture does. It reestablishes this balance so that the body can deal with disorders in which it, it becomes faced with. Okay? But now, two main patterns, deficient patterns, that individuals will face when it comes to the kidneys are kidney yin deficiency and kidney yang deficiency. There are others that accompany it, such as kidney chi not holding, kidney chi deficiency not holding and things of that nature, but I'm really gonna hone in on the major ones. Like let's just say kidney in, your kidney in of the body, it represents your essence and the fluids within your kidneys. Kidney yang is the more, I would say, motive force of all physiological processes. And it's also the root of transformation as well as movement you see kidney yin is the material foundation of kidney yang and kidney yang is the exterior manifestation of kidney yin. you see every pathological condition of the kidneys will either manifest itself as, as a deficiency of kidney yin or kidney yang, and that's why I'm focusing on the two main pattern, patterns, that being kidney yin and kidney yang. Because again, like I said, 
there's usually no excess pattern. There's never too much of when it comes to the kidneys. There's only deficiency patterns for the most part. Unless you're faced with some type of exterior pathogenic factor that that builds up dampness in the lower jowl, which consists of the kidneys. It's the only type of excess pattern the kidneys can face. Now, causes of kidney deficiency can stem from, let's say, hereditary weaknesses, where the prehaven chi of each person, which is formed at conception from the union of both parents, and that being the sperm and the ova, which are manifestations of kidney essence, person's inherited constitution depends on the strength and the quality of the parent's essence at that time of conception. So you see, an acupuncturist would always usually places great emphasis on the relation between the parent's essence and the hereditary constitution of their offspring. This is super important to an acupuncturist. Because you see, if, if your parents' essences were weak or the parents' essence is weak, a, child ki a child's kidneys would present as weak or be weak at birth and throughout life. And this will manifest itself as like poor bone development, possibly mental retardation, incontinence and uresis, loose teeth, thin hair. But now, an important factor that an acupuncturist pays attention to is the parents, their overall condition as that being their age. You see, kidney essence tends to decline with age. And if parents conceive when they're like too old, a child's constitution tends to suffer when that happens. Just the same as, let's say, if parents conceived in a state of exhaustion, let's say they came home after work and they're extremely tired, but they engaged in sexual intercourse and, you know, they were in a state of exhaustion. This can also induce hereditary weakness of the child. And this explains, like, when there's usually a striking difference in physical appearance as well as personality among siblings and many individuals are unaware of that that that's not even explained to them when it comes to even western medicine by an OBGYN or the obstetrician family physician whatever but an acupuncturist is able to assess a patient's constitution by questioning, asking certain questions pertaining to the patient's parents, as well as ailments they experienced at birth and so forth and so on. This is how far back we go when we're assessing a patient. Now, what can also play a part in kidney deficiency is emotional strain, because the emotion that's tied strongly to the ki kidneys and impacts it the worst is fear. Now, fear would include anxiety, shock, but fear, because fear makes chi descend, especially in children. So when they're hit with fear, they'll present with enuresis. And a lot of that is due to anxiety or insec insecurity in the family for that child. Now, the difference is, is once you're an adult, Fear doesn't make chi descend, it makes chi ascend, go up. And long-standing anxiety may present with like empty heat within the kidneys, which tends to rise to the head, causing dry mouth, malaflush, flush, mental restlessness, as well as insomnia. And I'll get patients that will come in and they'll say, Doc, I, I can't sleep, I'm struggling with sleeping. And, and some of their symptoms would present with, I have a constant dry mouth, I always feel 
mentally restless. You know, there's certain things that'll let us know it has a lot to do with the kidneys. Because sometimes insomnia can be due to a heart pattern or even a liver pattern. Now, another contributor to kidney deficiency can be excessive sexual activity. You see, excessive sexual activity weakens kidney energy because sexual ex essences tend to be manifested or a manifestation of kidney essence. So every time you reach orgasm, it depletes your kidney essence, which is not good. And it'll present with a deficiency pattern of kidney essence. And I want you guys to remember that. So don't overdo it when it comes to sex. And I discuss a lot of this on the Acupuncture's My Life YouTube page. There's so much you can learn from subscribing to that channel along with listening to Acupuncture's My Life and their discussions on the functions and the patterns and various disorders. All right? But now you see when it comes to chronic illness, such as let's say diabetes and hypertension and so forth and so on, right? Most chronic diseases eventually, eventually affect the kidneys. And you see in the late stages of a chronic disease, a pattern, let's say of kidney yin or kidney yang deficiency, nearly always presents itself. So chronic illness, chronic illnesses contribute to kidney deficiency along with overwork, whether it be physical or mental because excessive physical work or exercise over a long period of time tends to weaken kidney yang. Overwork in the sense of let's say you work long hours without adequate rest for many years and you're constantly faced with stress weakens kidney yin. Now another contributing factor is age, which is natural. You face a decline in kidney essence the older you get. This is why you reduce the amount of sex you have along with other things. because elderly people suffer from a deficiency of kidney essence. All right, their hearing will decrease, where the essence won't reach their ears, their bones become brittle and weak because kidney essence fails to nourish the bones and the bone marrow, and their sexual function decreases as well. But like I said, the two main patterns, deficiency patterns, of the kidneys is one kidney young deficiency and you'll see symptoms because it'll manifest itself as like you know lower back ache or lower back pain dizziness tinnitus cold and weak knees sensation of cold in the lower back feeling cold weak legs bright white complexion tiredness lassitude an abundance of clear urination and urination at night, like when you wake up to run to the bathroom and go, go back to sleep, there'll be edema of the legs, infertility in women, loose stools, depression, impotence in men, premature ejaculation, low sperm count, decreased libido. You face these types of symptoms or manifestations, those are signs of kidney yang deficiency. What can cause that? Again, chronic illness, excessive sexual activity, excessive physical work. These are all things that I discussed a little while ago. But then also, your diet can play a part. Because excessive consumption of cold and raw foods can weaken both spleen and kidney yang. Okay? 
You see, deficient kidney yang fails to warm the essence. Hence, the sexual energies is de becomes deprived of the nourishment of essence and warmth of kidney yang. This results in impotence, premature ejaculation, low sperm count, cold and thin sperm in men, infertility in women, or lack of libido in both men and women. When dealing with fertility issues when it comes to women, kidney meridian plays a big part. And in acupuncture is when a patient is faced with kidney yang deficiency, they tend to tonify, or can, they can tonify and warm the kidneys, along with recommending herbal formulas. But then the other main pattern, let's say, is kidney yin deficiency. Now remember, kidney, yin and yang overall have to be in balance. So when kidney yang is deficient, there's a lot of cold because yin is cold. And the heat is low, it's deficient, which is yang. And when there's kidney yin deficiency, now there's the cold is low, the heat is high because yang is heat, it's hot. So with kidney yin deficiency, you'll, you'll notice dizziness, tinnitus, vertigo, poor memory, you can't hear well, there's tons of night sweating, yin deficiency, dry mouth, yin deficiency, and dry throat, yin deficiency, lower back pain, your bones ache, nocturnal emissions, constipation, yin deficiency, dark scanty urine, yin deficiency, infertility, premature ejaculation, tiredness, lassitude, depression with slight anxiety. Again, what can cause this? As I stated earlier, overwork, excessive sexual activity, loss of body fluids, because depletion of body fluids, which can be like consumed by the heat in the body because you're yin deficient, can lead to kidney yin deficiency. Loss of blood, loss of blood over a long period of time can cause deficiency of liver blood, which in turn tends to lead to kidney yin deficiency. And again, chronic illness. Here we go again chronic illness so when a person is faced or presenting with any of those symptoms that I stated relative to kidney yin deficiency an acupuncturist can look to nourish kidney yin now there are other patterns such as kidney chi not firm kidneys failing to receive chi um there are tons kidney essence deficiency with his poor bone in children, poor bone development, late closure of the fontanelle, deafness, mental dullness, retardation, and in adults, softening of the bones, weakness of the knees, legs, poor memory, loose teeth, again, hair falling out, premature graying of the hair. You know, you're in your 20s and you're getting gray hair. That's a sign of kidney essence deficiency, weakness in sexual activity. As a male, you can't perform well, up to par. A sign of kidney essence deficiency, lower back pain, infertility, sterility, dizziness, tinnitus, deafness, blurred vision, absent-mindedness, and decreased mental sharpness. Kidney essence deficiency, what can cause that? Again, hereditary weakness, excessive sexual activity, loss of blood, okay? These things are important, but I, I really need you guys to remember all of this because when I get into discussing different types of disease, whether it's autoimmune disorders, whether it's a chronic ailment, doesn't matter. I'm going to reflect back to certain aspects of these earlier discussions where I speak on the functions of the internal organs. And if you even want to get a, a more in-depth understanding like I said, just go to the Acupuncturist My Life YouTube channel because we cover all of this and more as well. So along with listening to the Acupuncturist My Life episodes here, you can also visit Acupuncturist My Life on YouTube. Okay? But you have to understand, it's all about your health and how 
your body can heal itself on its own. And that's what acupuncture is about. Acupuncture is about empowering the human organism to have or reestablish that ability because we're usually born with that ability. Okay? It's about the balance of yin and yang because when yin and yang is balanced internally, there's no external or internal disharmony that can affect us for long okay you have to keep in mind you have to make acupuncture a part of your life because acupuncture is my life what's yours